Why can't Hokkaido University let me talk about our urban design in snowy, cold region? There are many cities with a population of around 2 million or more situated in severely cold climate covered in snow in winter. For example, Montreal, St. Petersburg, Vienna, and city of a campus located in Sapporo. Sapporo is an especially rare example of a winter city with snow. There are no other cities which have more than two million people have experience of six meter snowfall. In Sapporo, we willingly take advantage of the relentless snow by holding our famous annual snow festival. Citizens and tourists from foreign countries are invited to unique and memorable snow statues. We received more than 2.3 million visitors, not only from inside Japan, but also from all over the world, and they make it a huge world-class event. On the other hand, maintaining the snow street and the public space costs 15 to 20 billion yen and consumes a lot of energy. It should come as no surprise that the city planners have included snow management in their building and road design. Our aim was to develop a sustainable energy plan for the city that was in harmony with the steady snowfall. How did we solve the problem in the coal region by design? I describe an actual example of a smaller but hardier city north of Hokkaido. We focus on the Wakane city, northernmost city in Japan. First, I'd like to tell you about the winter features of Wakane City snowstorm. Snowstorm is a combination of both strong wind and snow flurries. Wakane is one of the severest cities in Japan for extreme snowstorms. In such a severe condition, we designed the northernmost railway station in Japan, Wakane Station. Our major concept is design not just building, but whole community. There are three key points of the design. Identity of the city, function to encourage people communication, take advantage of snowstorms. Before the renovation, the station was built just beside the railroad and we did not make use of its advantage as a head end station. Nowadays, many tourists take pictures of this uncommon, beautiful view of the station. This view can only be seen in the head end station. This is a design for both citizens and tourists alike to experience the true identity of the northernmost city function to encourage people communication. We designed a community space for citizens with the station, exhibition, musical concert, and international event held on the bodies of people can come in here. On the second floor, a kids space is very popular for mothers and children. Also, it's a variable function like providing space for souvenir shops, convenience shops, even moving theater. In addition, above the station, we designed apartments of the elderly and handicapped people. Why? If the apartments are priced in the convenient area, it's easier for their families and friends coming to them. Consequently, they don't feel loneliness because they have spent time in the facilities and the communities. 
This is the last and the most important concept of this design. Heavy snow around the station has huge impact on Wakane City because of its frequently snowstorms. Here, we try to create a design that makes it difficult for snow to fall on pedestrian way. We came up with the idea that a powerful snowstorm could be useful to blow the snow away. To explain the movement of snowfall and wind, we made styrofoam models of Wakane Station and its surrounding area. As a result of the experiment, it became clear the snow hit the higher level of the building, go down, and move on to the upper levels of the second floor. Also, we found the blowing wind running through in front of the first floor and prevent snow drifting on the pedestrian way and the entrance. Therefore, we expected to reduce the snowfall on the pedestrian way. This is a picture in winter. You can see the reduction of the snow drifting on the pedestrian way and the entrance of the building. The problem was solved not only by using energy, like load heating, but by just changing the design of the building. It is the first time in the world to use a powder wind tunnel experiment for urban design research. You know, nature activities can never be stopped and fighting with nature is fruitless, but adapting to nature's power enables the design of a sustainable cityscape. This design research opened urban designers' eye and result some hours. At the beginning, the number of users was expected to be 400,000 per year. After the renovation, the number gets double. That works out of about 500 people a day who use the station to take the train, and it adds up to about 180,000 people in a year. You can see how the number of people gathering has increased. Lastly, I'd like to you know the virtue of Hokkaido University contributing to an activating society by building enriched lives in this cold, snowy region. This is a test that has been continuously explored in Hokkaido University as it contributes to the development of industry and its citizen life in the northern region of Hokkaido. You may think what I just talked about only the problem limited in core region. However, there's many ideas can be learned from our approach and applied to solve the snow problems in various regions in the world. So, let's develop your own urban design with nature and sustainable approach. I'm looking forward to see you again at Hokkaido University. Thank you.